drive you a piece of history. You know, you get out, you look back, you've got to look back a second time. Anyone that's been in the car with me gets out of the car, looks back, and looks back a second time. It's just so beautiful. It was a boy had dream. You know, George Best, the famous Manchester United football player, had one. Frank Sinatra had one. All the sports stars had one. So as a as a as a young boy, you know, you know, you'd start off with a little Mini Cooper, MGB, and then you'd sort of advance to a, a Triumph TR6. And if you're really lucky, an E-Type. But the E-Type was just way out of anybody's reach. You know, it was a, it was a very expensive sports car. You know, Enzo Ferrari said when he saw it at the Geneva Motor Show, it was the most beautiful car that he'd ever seen, you know? And to look at it, it's just so sexy. I mean, uh, at 10 years old, I had a poster on my wall of, this, of an E-Type, you know? And just dreamed every night about owning one, you know? And um, of course the 70s come, into the 80s and all the more modern cars come. And now, what, over 40 years later, E-Types are within reach, you know? You, you, you can get an old E-Type like this, uh, we paid thirty thousand dollars for this. We put probably about twenty thousand in in repairs and, and getting it up to a sort of drivable condition. And we have a great E-Type, you know. Um, and that was really just a boyhood dream, you know. And I guess in America, you guys were into the Barracudas and the Shelbys and all that sort of thing, you know. In England, it was the E-Type, you know. So. It's a 1968 2 plus 2 E-Type, so in 1968 the Americans forced changes on the vehicle, you know, to make it safer, etc. So they removed the glass-covered headlights, they, um, they actually changed it from three SU carburetors to two Strombergs to make it, you know, leaner and better for the environment, I guess. Um, they changed all the switches on the interior here from toggle switches to these sort of plastic switches. So this is what the Americans term as the Series 1.5, but in England there never was a Series 1.5, it was Series 1 or a Series 2. But they had to very quickly make changes to a Series 1 to make it conform to the US standards in, you know, in 1968. So in America this would be classed as a 1.5, you know. Um, the 2 plus 2, which this is, is 9 inches longer than the standard um, E-Type Jaguar, or XKE as people know them. Uh, and it gives you the extra two seats in the back. And that's one of the reasons we purchased it, so that we go out as a family, at the weekend dog and the kid in the back, and, and go out you know, for a picnic and, and, and have a good time at the weekend. So, so and you either love or hate them. You know, I've got, I've, got a, I've got a car shows where people hate the 2 plus 2. It's not a real Jaguar, you know? But of course it is. It was <laughs> It's neat how Jaguar, you know? Well, we made it a father and son project. My son James is 12 years old and, and really took a liking to this car the minute we drove it up the driveway it became his favourite car, so it became our father-son project. James was able to find the original United Kingdom yellow turn flashing units front and rear, uh, which makes gives it that real United Kingdom look. So yeah, it's been a, a very good father-son project. Sure, safety was a big issue. Uh, we bought the car to be a driver, so as a family we could drive to classic car shows, so safety was our number one priority. 
So the first thing we did was change all the shock absorbers for new shock absorbers right round. You have two shock absorbers on each side of the rear, one at the front. The rear shock absorbers are spring, coil over spring, but of course the front shock absorbers are purely dampers and you have torsion bars instead of springs, so we have to replace the torsion bars as well. So the next big project relating to safety, of course, is the brakes. This has disc brakes all round. We replaced the discs and the pads. Uh, and of course now the car stops very well on the freeway and it is a very safe car to drive. Yeah.